lives, chore list, deadline, meal planning, and keeping on top of your daily task can be a task in and of itself. And that's why we've invited interior decorator Courtney Brannigan from the Chipper Nest here with a couple of DIY projects to help be organized and look good in your home as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so I wanted to bring a couple projects in this morning that you can do and you can easily get all the things kids on for board. kids on board. You can take something and make it custom for your house okay. with just a little bit of effort. It's um, kind of like a command center. It's kind of like a command center and for sure you can go on Pinterest and look command center and there are people who have dedicated entire walls to it and it's a little bit overwhelming. Really? So my tip is just to be like pick the thing that you need the most. So like if meal planning is the thing you're struggling with then like let's just start with meal planning. Like okay. you don't need to do the whole kit and One caboodle. thing at a time. One thing at Divide a time. Divide and conquer. Yeah. So I made this like super adorable little meal planning board here. Um, it's it's a cork board, and then I decided to snazz it up just with a few elements. So on the sides, we have fabric tape. Yes. Um, so here's an example of that. So there's fabric tape. It's really similar to washi tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so washi tape is a bit more like of a plasticky feel, and that actually feels like fabric. Okay, where did you get yeah. this? This I got at Michael's. And there's lots of color options. And it's sticky on the back. It's sticky on the back. Yeah, you actually just peel it like it's a layer, and you just peel it apart. Oh, Yeah, easy. so I did one color on the outside and one color on the front. Then I just wrapped it in a bit of baker's twine. Mm -hmm. And baker's twine comes in lots of colors. I mean, you can get that at the grocery store. Right. Yeah, and then there's lots of options now for, like, cute little clothespins that you can use. And then these are just free printables. Where did you get those? So I, these ones I made. Yeah. Yeah, and, but there's options. So if you go on Pinterest or even you can buy printables on Etsy. Um, and so you just search for printables and then you find the one that suits your style the best. Okay, so you've yeah. got a little calendar there and you can yeah. print out a bunch and switch it out. Yeah, you can print out. out a bunch. Yeah, so here's a couple other options of like printable calendars that you can get. And I've just resized them. Because depending on the size, you know, space that you have, you might not need a full-size calendar, but you can resize them when you print them. So keep that in mind when you're looking at printables. Cute. Yeah. And you've added another little personal I've touch added... on this pin board. Yes, yeah, so I've added, so I've made my own little push pin. So I bought the embellishments, these little guys, and they were actually like stickers. So what I've done is I've peeled off the sticker that was existing there. Yes. And then we're going to use a bit of crazy glue and we're going to make one. Okay. So because you can hold on to the pin really nicely, if you put your flower down. Ah. Yeah. So put your flower here. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Upside down. I know. So make it the easiest way so that you're not going to get crazy glue on your fingers. And then a little dab of crazy glue. Just, and just drop it on there. It doesn't yep. need to be the flower. No, and then we're just going to let it dry. Okay, so it could be yeah. something like so a minion. So if you're making something for your kids, exactly. There's so many little bits and bobs for kids, minions. I, these are, I think, la la loopsy. So make it fun for your kids if you're doing something for your kids. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, that's a fun little Super fun. afternoon project. Super fun little afternoon project. Yeah, actually, my daughter totally helped me with this one here. Um, the other one I just brought in quickly because my thing is I always misplace my garden tools. So <laughs> I have made myself a garden command center for the spring for a little potting station. Yeah. Um, and I, this is pegboard and this is just in an old frame that I've repainted in chalk paint. Okay. Super trendy chalk paint, yeah, flat finish, a little bit of antiquing. Um, and then the other thing is just for some dimension, having a little pom-pom garland. So that's the other you thing. You are the cutest. <laughs> when you're making it, yes, I think we've done a pom pom garland every time. <laughs> we have. <laughs> yeah. I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah. Okay, how about on this side? Okay, so on this side, this is basically like the easy peasy. So free printable in a frame, you're going to, and it's got a plastic cover, and it's, this basically becomes a whiteboard. So your kids can check off their chart as they go. Uh huh. And then every week, you can just print a new one. Wouldn't that be amazing to get yeah. all the check marks? Or you marks. don't even need to do, like, you could get rid of the week and you could just erase it. Yeah. Yeah, and so for kids, it's a really good visual. Sometimes, some kids are really motivated. That my daughter has a checklist every morning she loves to go through. And yeah. that sense of accomplishment. Absolutely. Dishes in the sink. Everybody's yes. happy. Everybody's happy. Wonderful. Totally. And these ideas, where can people find them? They can find them on my website through thechippernest.com if they go to the blog. Excellent. And links on ours at breakfasttelevision.ca. Great ideas Thank as you. always. And love the pom-poms. What's yeah. not to love? <laughs> on over to Mike Yanni, who's at the race room this